Um, I'm Kevin the Kid, Kevin Cardoza. I'm a fine art abstract photographer. I don't know if I have like, I mean, other people might say I have a style, but I would like to prefer that I don't have a specific style, that I just shoot. My, my photos are really just an expression of how I feel. Like, that's what really started because I felt so, you know, down. I wanted just people to see how I felt. I wanted people to understand that, like, I don't know, like, the feelings. And, like, there's photos I, I did in the past where um, sometimes I want to tell, like, an important story or something that I hold important to me. And then there's sometimes where I take a photo where it's just something where I'm like, oh, I think this would look really cool. One of the things that stuck out to me, there's two things. Brooke Shaden said she had once wanted to do short films, but she could just tell an entire story through a picture. And I, that kind of like stuck with me and I thought about it and I was like, well, what if I started doing pictures? Cause like I could just, you know, tell, uh, instead of having to try and make a short film by myself, I could come up with like a photo and like that could be my expression. And then there was Alex Stoddard who had done the 365 project. And I was like, well, why not just, you know, jump into it. Instead of just taking a photo here and there, why not like actually make myself commit and do 365 photos and just, you know, and, and learn. Some days where it's really hard, you sit there and you're staring at the wall and you, you're trying to like force yourself to create, but you have to kind of push through those. I mean, there's still days where I get extremely down and I'm really, you know, bummed out because I can't, it, you feel empty, like you have nothing left to express, but there's always something there. You just have to like kind of, you have to force yourself through those times. photos where I've had that picture in my mind for so long and it's like I have to get it out I have to get this picture up and then there's days like I said when I feel empty and it's just like well I'm gonna take a few pictures and then we'll see what happens one of like the more like like photos that I felt like started to shape my style and stuff was way in the beginning it was the 37th photo I did and it was uh it's called literature and it's like me standing there and these books are falling and literally that picture was a test picture for another shoot where I was standing there and I just like put my hand up and then I was going through my photos and I was like, huh, you know, and I grabbed it and I like found some books and I like kind of placed them in there and I was like, oh, this is kind of cool, you know, and I just started learning it and I was like, wow, this came out really awesome. I really like how this turned out. It's like, it's like a drug, it's addicting. Like I want to just every time, whenever a day goes by and I don't take a photo, I like lose like a little bit of sleep. Like I think about it when I'm going to bed and I'm just like, oh, like I'm so mad at myself. I'm like, oh, I can't believe I didn't get a photo. In. I'm like, I should be able to like, even no matter what it is, even if I only get 30 minutes, I should have been able to get a photo in it. You know, even if it's not, you know, like as elaborate as some of my other ones, like it should still be like to a standard that I want. I'm a competitive person. So I've always, as much as I admire all the other photographers out there, I also see them as like, you know, like, like in a competitive sense in a sport, like you want to be better than everyone. Every day is learning. That's why I try to do newer things and always try and push the limits. So like a half it forces me to learn how to new, do new things on Photoshop. But um, it's always rewarding like when you learn something. Like, oh, wow, this is really cool. Yeah. I would say be as weird as you want to be. Be as different as you want to be because those are the people that'll be remembered and those are the people that like you'll look back on like my mom tells me stories of like the kids that she always thought were weird at the time, but now they're like extremely successful and she knew it then too. She was like, oh, I can be successful even though he's like super different and super out there. But it's those people that like, 
and everyone's like that. It's just a lot of people, you know, like they're so scared to show it, so they they keep it in. They don't show. It. And I was like that a long time too. Until I, it was like step by step. Like I was, I like a door would open, and it's like I felt more and more comfortable you know, expressing myself. And now I, I feel like I'm at a point where I'm really not scared to do anything in the sense of, you know, showing people who I am.